Be better than last time, I'm hoping. Will it? Hopefully. Well, the one last time you you almost choked to death. Yeah, I think it's just at the nose, not not the throat. The throat was not a bit of me. Didn't fancy these, then, man. No. I'll stay away from that. I've done what the best to be. This is the first day coming for Steve. It's the Monday of tournament week. So what we're going to do today is play 18 holes. I think there's a pro-am tomorrow. So he probably won't be able to get 18 holes in as he's not in the pro-am. So we get 18 today. Hit some balls before, going out of his mate Lyle, so show you the golf course. Going to pick up the camera and take you along inside the ropes. Cut him for Steve. Any changes? You need a clean, mate. What do you do, mate? That's uh, my job now. <laughs> nah, just some new wedges, but the same as before. Yeah. Get a bit more spin and stuff. What, as in you, same model, different? Yeah, exactly. Just new. Yeah, new, just new fresh. Yeah. yeah, freshies. Yeah, so it's a bit helpful. Well, that's different. Is it? Well, I normally use a 56, D lofted to 55, but that's 54, lofted up to 55. So is that not... just because they only had a 54 in or something? Or is no, no, just, method to that? just to get a bit more bounce on it than oh, right, going okay. the other way and taking banks off. Good shout. All right, flight scope's down. Getting some, right. Just talking to the camera, mate. Oh, sorry. Just saying flight scope's down. Well, you're just, just getting some numbers with the temperature today. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler. And I haven't had this for a few weeks, so it's just good to sort of see how far it's going, especially with it being a bit cloudy. Yep. Because it won't quite go as far as when it's piping hot, 30 degrees. Uh, so yeah, it's just useful with the weather is like this to know Exactly it's going a few yards shorter, well, metres. Yeah, weather's not that great this week. So, is it? what is the forecast for the week? Get a look. I mean, today, uh, today's like, probably going to be a high of like 19. It's probably like 16 this morning, which yeah, probably mean, seems quite warm to you guys at home, but if you're in the UK. It's, it's relevant. Yeah, this is like a good good summer's day in England. It's not it's probably not going to rain and it's 19 degrees. That's a win. But out here, it's shit. So. Mate, just saw Oliver Fisher. Sorry? I didn't realise how big Oliver Fisher was. Yeah, no, he's a big lad. He's strong. Yeah. And he's quite tall than... Isn't he? Like, he's got a big that. frame. Yeah. Yeah, that's him down there. You can't see on here because I've not got the zoom. I'm using the GoPro today. If we get up no, close. He's, big he's boy. big in the right way. He's not the wrong way. as well. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got two four irons in the bag this week. Yeah, I had different shafts in my irons, and when I tested them, my the old shaft, the four, was going pretty close to the five iron. Yeah. But I've since changed back to my old shafts. But in the meantime, I got that with the graphite shaft to see if it filled the gap. So you completely changed shafts in all your irons? I tried a new shaft for like was two that weeks. At the fitting centre after the fitting uh, centre? I had a bit of a mistake, really. I told them I used the wrong shaft, to be honest. And then when I went for the fitting, I tried the different shaft, and it was much the same as my old one. Okay. But then when I looked at my stats, my stats it was dead. were crap with the new shaft. Yeah. So you're happy with these then? Yeah, that's what I've used for, I don't know, six years. If it ain't broke? Nah, exactly. Yeah, we need a prediction for Steve this week in the comments early on in the video. Where do you think he's finishing? Obviously last year, finished fourth. Um, first time I caddied for him, um, he rocked up and finished fourth, that was quite cool. Got on TV. Um, what do you think he's going to finish this year? Leave your comments down below. And have you put bets on him? He's actually hitting it really well, give you a little inside knowledge. 
swinging it exactly the same as last time it looks like so I mean it never looks like it changes but it might be worth a little punt I think they put some fertilizer on and there was no rain and then they have what's called load shedding in South Africa where they cut the electricity off so they couldn't use the sprinkler systems which I think sort of burnt the burnt the grass off I think not that I'm any green keeper but bit of a mare isn't it yeah it's strange they're normally really good essentially at the moment half the uh, half the greens that I've seen well I mean like all of the greens but like half the services burnt out and dead and there's probably going to be more of it that dies throughout the week as you get all the traffic and um, just general use so it's going to be interesting to see how they like hold up now we've got some hardy dars here see how scared they are noisy noisy things how do you approach that mindset wise yeah I mean you've just got to sort of take it for what it is they're not terrible at the minute but I just worry if the grass dies a bit more they might get really bumpy um, mm -hmm. but yeah you just sort of give yourself a bit of slack and it's Sit the good. same for everyone really hit good parts if they miss they yeah. miss yeah I mean you're pretty calm anyway aren't you to be fair on the course be, yeah. most of the time yeah, I get a bit sulky but... right here we have Sunshine Tour winner Lyle on the tee <laughs> say hello hello all the fans <laughs> All the fiends. I put a question out there the other day and I'm still waiting for my answer. So What's this? I put a question out. You asked for questions for Steve Surrey. Oh yeah, yeah. That q and is actually coming at the end of today. So no, I'm worried. I'm guessing it's going to probably not be allowed to be aired because it's probably... Nah, it will be. It, it, it will. Yeah, but as long as he tells the truth about my question. Now you are worried. Yeah. <laughs> as long as he tells the truth, I'm happy. Swing. Yeah. Oh, no, lekker. Oh. Here we have the fairway find up. Now you've done it. Oh. Come on. Crumbled. New depth. Have you seen? Has, have the fans seen? Uh, not yet, no. Fresh set of wheels. Don't quite go with the trousers, as I'm pointing out to you. <laughs> Johnny Travolta. You were moving like Johnny the other week, to be fair. I yeah, keep quiet about that. <laughs> So what number have you got? Uh, 144 into off the left. Yeah, the wind playing doesn't... about 150. Yeah, I'm playing 150, but the wind doesn't really hit the ball much here. The air's so thin, so it's a bit, it's a little bit of guesswork when there's a bit of breeze. Yeah, definitely doesn't hit it in the crosswinds, does it? But no. like sometimes into you can still get one spinning up on it. I find. But... Yeah, I find if you try and hit it, knock it down, it doesn't go that far because it doesn't quite get to the peak height. Yeah, and then just falls out the sky a bit. So you pretty much just go full. Yeah, try and just stop get it up swings. in the air, yeah. pretty much, rather than sort of trying to hit little chisely shots. Could be in. Yeah, sure. To hole 11 and uh, after getting a bit of food at the halfway hut and Thomas Aiken has joined us who's definitely a tour winner I'm sure he's a multiple tour winner he's been on tour for years so maybe try and have a little chat with him when we're out here just uh, see what, how he's doing how's your season going Tom because that's the goal really with this to obviously show like inside the ropes but then um, like show you stuff that you're not gonna see and like maybe some like tips and advice from tour players that you're just not going to be able to access, so that's why you should definitely watch these couple of weeks of the uh, of the caddying vlogs. And obviously, some animals, some peacocks, and uh, just cop. And then obviously, in a couple of weeks, we are off down to Kruger Park to play Leopard Creek, and 
that's where we'll probably go inside the uh, that wildlife place again and have a look around, see what we can find. Excuse me. You were wagging at the same time, mate. So. Egyptian geese out here. Oh, there's the mohawk. Shot sloppy. This is Thomas Aiken, multiple winner, yeah? Uh, so you've won how many times in your pin tour? Three. Cool. Been a while though. <laughs> so what tour have you played the majority of golf on? Is it the European tour? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I've kind of played all over the place, but I've, I've played European tour on and off since 2002. So okay. it's been a fair while, but um, I spent the predominant time in the, on, on my younger years playing here on the Sunshine Tour, which was a great feeder tour nice. um, to most places. And you know, you get perks. Like if you do well in a season, you can get to final stage Q school and, and okay. whatnot. So it's cool that the top 50 in the order of merit get these European tour co-sanctioned as well, isn't it? On the sunshine. 100%. That's it's nice always. Stuff. I mean, the key to this tour has always been the co-sanctioned events because it's yeah. given our younger players an opportunity to perform on a world stage. Mm -hmm. And if they do well, which a lot have done in the past, and win, they, they get a tour card straight away. Yeah. I mean, I think straight up there. I think of. Brandon Stone doing that, uh, Hayden Fortius doing it. But yeah, I mean, Trevor Fisher did it back when he got his European tour card. So yep. it's a great platform um, for our guys to try and get onto the international stage as well as, I mean, we've got great golf courses down here and for this time of the year, it's a great place for Europe Mate, to come and play. The golf courses are unbelievable. Yeah. Literally an 11 hour flight down to Joburg from England and you're playing just a ridiculous amount of good courses in good condition. I mean, these three weeks are special, especially next week with Sun City and the following week with Leopard Creek, it yeah. doesn't get any better. Some good places. Yeah. Right, so a lot of people that follow the channel are good golfers. Yeah. And obviously, you're a guy that's had, or is having a successful career out here. Um, give them a couple of things, I'm not going to say like two or three, a couple of things, important things that you think, off the top of your head, that good players can implement to take it to the next level. The biggest thing is, in my opinion, I think if you're a good golfer already, and I'm not speaking to the average public, I'm just saying like, like uh -huh. a really good golfer. If you're a good golfer already, you've got there for a reason. So stick to what you do well and just work harder at it. Mm -hmm. and don't go searching for stuff that uh, you think is like needs to improve and, and, you, and you think you need to change. But if you do something well, just keep doing it well and, and, and practice your repetition at it. I mean, yeah. if you look at guys in the past, especially I look at all these guys with, um, trying to find things with their putting. Yeah. And I look at guys like Billy Mayfair back in the day. I mean, he had the worst putting stroke in the world. He was one of the best putters. Yeah. Because he, re he repeated it over and over. So, so a lot of guys come on tour and they think that they need to take it to the next they level. They think it's a different game and they think they yeah. need to do something special. But They um, got there, they should just keep what they've got. It's the same game, you just need to do it better. Okay. So, yeah. Cheers, mate. Shut. Right, so we're back now. Um, I thought instead of doing the Q&A in like a loud place or like in a dark car park, it probably makes more sense to do it tomorrow. So more incentive to watch tomorrow's video. So we're going to be doing the Q&A all day. And then also tomorrow is basically a practice day for Steve because they've got a pram on. He's probably not going to play holes, but he's going to do a lot of like skills tests on flight scope, um, work on some short game stuff. So there's probably going to be a lot of like valuable information you can get from tomorrow's video as well. So that's it for today. Gonna get some sleep, have a nice rest, get up nice and early, and uh, tomorrow should be a good one. So cheers for watching, first of many, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.